heard this term before. Can you explain what the behavioural part of optometry is, please? Well, um, really it um, stems from over 120 years ago um, and an American English. And I think the emphasis on behaviour was because they knew that vision was such an important aspect of the brain and therefore their feeling was and what they state is that if you can change someone's vision you can change their behaviour. We've used behavioural optometry in the UK but I'm not sure people totally understand it and I actually call myself an educational optometrist just to make it clearer that mm -hmm. I'm here to help uh, people with making reading and writing easier really and less stressful. And uh, because it also, if you get the right um, lenses or the right um, filter for someone when they're reading, it can also have an impact more globally on, on healing them because their posture can be better, they'll be frowning less, and it just makes life easier for them. I lost my sight, interestingly, when I was um, relatively young. Probably started around about sort of pre-puberty, thereabouts and my eyesight started to go and I became mm -hmm. very short-sighted. Now, I believe for me that that is associated with my, in fact I know it is associated with my trauma from my childhood. Now, why I know that is I ask myself why my eyes didn't want to see. Mm -hmm. I thought, why don't I want to see clearly anymore? Well, I didn't want to see the bullies at school because I was heavily bullied at school and I equally didn't want to see humanity I didn't want to see, really, I suppose, what, was, what had happened to me. And until my father died, I didn't really know what had happened to me because I was so terrified, terrified in my eyes. That's the connections I make for mm -hmm. me. Now, educational optometry, mm -hmm. for you, what gifts can that bring to others being able to, to see and read clearly well, first of all, within an eye examination, I usually don't delve too much into the emotional picture, but I am aware that emotional um, factors do um, have a role. Um, so the thing is, is that the difficulty with reading and writing itself creates an emotional issue. And that's really where I can help more directly. Yeah, that makes complete uh, sense. Yeah. Yeah, completely. But if sense. I know the child's being bullied, um, if it's mentioned or whatever, then that does tend to make my measurements, the visual dysfunction, it, it will exaggerate it. And it can also make it a little bit more difficult to remediate the issue. Okay. There are quite a lot of behavioural optometrists that work with um, the autonomic nervous system and they balance the parasympathetic with the sympathetic and really bring down the sympathetic and increase the parasympathetic to so get rid of that fight and flight. And they do that with... Um, coloured lights that a person looks at. So that's a mode of working perhaps a little bit more on the emotional side directly. Yeah. And that's what some behavioural optometrists work with. That's a revelation for me. Mm. I mean, I've asked myself, can I heal my eyes? You know, mm -hmm. I've honestly said. Mm -hmm. and, and, and part of me knows that I can heal them if I can find the right avenues mm. to heal them by. Science and discoveries and, and healing for me is all options. So it's allopathic because I wouldn't be sitting here without Valium and Soroxat to get me through those early times. We as an organisation are looking at all solutions, the advances in science, the advances in optometry, not even aware of that. I believe maybe train my eyes or retrain them and reprocess my belief systems that came mm -hmm. from those early experiences to want to see humanity mm -hmm. because I'd love to throw the contact lenses away mm -hmm. You know, I, I love them, but I'd le equally like to leave them behind. Do you believe it's possible <clears throat> for me to heal my eyes? I think everything's possible. Mm -hmm. I see in my daily work that the visual system is a lot more dynamic and variable than, uh, than I was taught in my degree. I'm working with one adult at the moment that wishes to reduce his prescription, like mm -hmm. you're talking about, yeah. and I'm happy to support him in that process. However, the main drive, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is not necessarily throwing away glasses, but getting the visual system to work more automatically and efficiently and for you and to have choice over 
your vision, rather than perhaps the idea of throwing away your glasses being the optimum goal. So yeah. it's about just allowing your visual system to be better. And I think that's a more realistic goal yeah. and also something that as a behavioural optometrist, we would be more saying that's what we're doing really. But I yeah. know there are a few people that are working um, perhaps more energetically with more um, other healing modalities that um, probably have had a lot of success. I mean, there's a guy called Mayor Schneider that I've only really heard of. Yes. I haven't studied any of his work, but he was very, very short-sighted and has done a lot of healing. Mm -hmm.